uh, we will discuss the numerical questions related to mole concept. Uh, here we will discuss some questions of mole concept. So first of all we will discuss the first question calculate the mass of a silver atom that is a question here we have to calculate the mass of one silver atom okay so to uh, calculate the mass of one silver atom we need the gram atomic mass of silver so the gram atomic mass of silver is 108 gram gram atomic mass of a g is equal to 108 gram that is atomic mass of silver so in gram so it is known as gram atomic mass clear and we know that 108 gram this is equal to one mole one mole okay one mole of silver atom so one mole silver contains avogadro number of particles so one therefore that is 108 gram of ag contains ah, 6.022 into 10 power 23 silver atoms 23 atoms contains 6.022 into 10 power 23 uh, silver atoms Okay, so we have to calculate the mass of one silver atom. Mass of one silver atom. Therefore, we can write this mass of one silver atom. Mass of one AG atom is equal to 108. Okay, hmm? this is uh, mass of uh, 6.022 into 10 power 23 atoms is equal to 108. Therefore, mass of one atom is equal to 108 divided by 6.022 into 10 power 23. 108 divided by 108 gram divided by 6.022 into 10 power 23 ok therefore the answer is 1.793 into 10 power 22 gram this is the answer 1.793 into 10 power minus 22 gram ok 10 power minus 22 that is the mass of 1 ag atom that is 108 divided by 6.022 then the 10 power 23 will go there and it will be 10 power minus 22 clear so actually the mass of uh, 6.022 into 10 power 23 silver atom is 108 and therefore mass of 1 silver is equal to 108 divided by avogadro number so you will get the answer 1.793 into 10 power minus 22 gram that is the answer I think it's uh, clear for you. Now we can move on to the second question. Okay. Second question. Okay. The second question is calculate the mass of one molecule of water. Second question. Calculate the mass of calculate the mass of one molecule of water one molecule of water calculate the mass of one molecule of water ok what is the mass of one molecule of water so we know that the uh, molecular mass of water molecular mass of water is equal to 18 gram molecular mass of water is equal to 18 gram so this is one mole so 18 gram water contains avogadro number of particles so 18 gram 
water contains 6.022 into 10 power 23 molecules. Okay? So, molecular mass of water is equal to 18 gram. So, 18 gram water contains 6.022 into 10 power 23 molecules. Okay. So, the mass of 6.022 into 10 power 23 molecules is equal to 18 gram. It is the mass of 18. That is something. So, mass of 1 uh, water molecule is equal to 18 gram divided by this avogadro number. So, mass of one water molecule, one water molecule is equal to 18 gram divided by 6.022 into 10 power 23. Okay, so this is a gram molecular mass. Okay, this is a gram molecular mass of water that is 18 gram. Okay, gram molecular mass. So 18 divided by avogadro number will give the mass of one molecule of uh, water that is equal to 2.99 into 10 power minus 23 gram 2.99 into 10 power minus 23 gram this is the answer 2.99 into 10 power minus 23 gram clear so if you want to calculate the mass of one atom or molecule Okay, mass of one atom or molecule. You have to divide the gram atomic mass or gram molecular mass divided by uh, Avogadro number. So from this uh, uh, calculations, okay, from these numerical questions, we can say that mass of one atom, mass of a substance, sorry, mass of an atom or molecule can be calculated by this equation. That is, mass is equal to mass is equal to molar mass molar mass divided by Avogadro number Avogadro number. Okay, so mass is equal to molar mass divided by Avogadro number. Okay, mass is equal to molar mass divided by Avogadro number. Okay? Hmm. Mass equal to molar mass divided by Avogadro number. So you can uh, divide the given mass by Avogadro number. We can move on to the next question. Third question. So third question is uh, calculate the number of atoms present in calculate the number of atoms present in 25 number of atoms present in 25 gram of carbon 25 gram of carbon ok 25 gram of carbon calculate the number of atoms present in 25 gram of carbon ok so we Know that 12 gram is the atomic gram atomic mass that is a molar mass of carbon. Okay, so 12 gram carbon contains Avogadro number of atoms. Okay, this number of atoms 6.022 into 10 power 23 number of carbon atoms. Therefore, 1 gram carbon contains 6 point uh, 0 to 2 into 10 power 23 divided by 12. Okay, right. So, 1 gram carbon contains this much number of atoms. And what about 25 gram? If it is uh, 25 gram means that means 25 gram carbon contains 6 point 0 to 2 into 10 power 23 by 12 into 25. So you have to multiply by 25. For 1 gram, that is into 1. 
6 4 and 0 2 10 10 4 10 3 3 divided by 12 into 1 and 25 gram carbon contains avogadro number into 25 by molar mass clear okay then you will get this answer so you will get the answer just like 12.54 into 10 power 23 12.54 into 10 power 23 this is the answer for you 12.54 into uh, 10 power 23 that is the answer okay so 25 gram carbon contains this much number of particles that means uh, almost 2 more okay almost 2 more of carbon okay so it is all about the third question now we can move on to the fourth question fourth question okay so the fourth question is how many oxygen atoms are present in how many oxygen atoms are present in how many oxygen atoms are present in 50 gram of how many oxygen atoms are present in 50 gram of calcium carbonate how many oxygen atoms are present in 50 gram of calcium carbonate that is CaCO3 first of all we have to calculate the so we have to calculate the or number of oxygen atoms in 50 gram of calcium carbonate here we have to calculate the gram molecular gram molecular mass of CaCO3 gram molecular mass of CaCO3 what is the uh, atomic mass of carbon it is 40 atomic mass of carbon 40 sorry not carbon calcium atomic mass of uh, calcium 40 then atomic mass of carbon 12 then atomic mass of ozone is 16 and here we have 3 ozone atom so you have to multiply 3 into 16 so 40 plus 12 plus uh, 48 ok so 40 plus uh, 12 that is uh, 52 52 plus 48 100 so 100 gram is the molecular mass of calcium carbonate calcium carbonate ok and so 100 gram of calcium carbonate contains avocado number of particles so we can see that uh, 100 gram of so this is one mole this 100 gram is one mole so 100 gram of calcium carbonate contains uh, 6.022 into 10 power 23 number of calcium carbonate molecules calcium carbonate uh, atoms ok so uh, then what about 50 gram ok 100 gram contains uh, this much number of particles and what about 1 gram 1 gram means 6.022 into 10 power 23 by 100 and what about 50 gram instead of 1 if it is 50 you have to multiply by 50 so that is equal to 3.011 into 10 power 23 ok so 100 gram of calcium carbonate is this much number of particles and 50 gram of calcium carbonate is this much number of particles and we need how many oxygen atoms are there oxygen ok the question is how many oxygen so there are 3 oxygen atoms so you have to multiply this by 3 then you will get the answer 9.033 into 10 power 23 9.033 into uh, 10 power 23 clear 9.033 into 10 power 23 so here we want to calculate the number of oxygen atoms not number of atoms if it is number of atoms this would be the answer so there are 3 oxygen atoms so when you want to calculate the number of oxygen it is this one if it is carbon then this is the answer if it is calcium 
then this is also answer. But in the case of oxygen, you have to multiply by three because in the formula there are three oxygen atoms, so you have to multiply by three. Now we can move on to the last question, that is the fifth question. Find out the volume of 14 gram of N2 at NTP. NTP is normal temperature and pressure. So we can see that question. So uh, the gram molecular here we have to find out the volume of 14 gram of N2 at uh, NTP, normal temperature and pressure. So gram molecular mass of gram molecular mass of N2 is equal to 28 gram. N2 is equal to 28 gram. So this is molecule. Gram molecular mass of N2 is equal to 28 gram. Here it is given 14 gram. Okay, so 20 that is a molar mass. So 28 gram nitrogen occupies. Okay. Now the volume of so we can write like this. Therefore, uh, the volume of the volume of 28 gram of N2 at NTP is equal to 22.4 liter. 22.4 liter. The volume of 28 gram of N2 at NTP is equal to 22.4 liter. Here we want to calculate 14. So the volume of 14 gram of N2 at NTP is equal to so 28 gram contains 22.4. This here we want to calculate 14 gram. So 14 is just half of 28. So the volume will be half of this that is 22. Point 4 divided by 2 that is 11.2 liter that is the answer or by the mathematical method or by calculation we can find out okay 28 gram of N2 contains N2 at NDP is equal to 22.4 okay therefore 1 gram is equal to 22.4 divided by 28 okay 22.4 4 divided by 28. Okay. Then uh, 14 gram of nitrogen contains uh, the volume of 14 gram of nitrogen at NDP is 22.4 divided by 28 into 14. That is equal to 14 by 2. Therefore 11.2 liter. That is the answer. Clear? Okay. So 22 gram is 1 more. 22.4. 14 gram is half one, so just half of this volume. Okay, that is all about. So we have uh, gone through the entire portion of this small concept. Uh, we have covered all the questions of uh, this small concept. So we can wind up today's session. Thank you all.